And we are live from Cambridge, Massachusetts, home of the Inacapsity Worldwide Network. You know, look at the Cambridge as I do, and my name is Dr. Jeffrey Lett, I'm the CEO of the co-founder of this program called Anything Goes, which is the longest running live program on the net. And boy, do you have some food fights in this place about almost anything. We let it run exactly the way it is. What you're seeing is unexpurgated, unedited, and absolutely remarkable and put something. Okay. We'll see that today will be a food fight day or not. The focus of the program is always on making money. And on my unvariable contention that most will say they want to make money, and I'm not willing to do a damn thing to make money. And the call is the founder the CEO of World Profit, www.worldprofit.com. We're also going to be Howard Martell, one of our senior monitors. Howard, good day to you. What do you want to say to the folks before we begin? What I want to say is that since I've been here five to two months and just hit my anniversary, my knowledge has increased, but this is how I give back to the community by being part of the Anything Goes session anytime that I get a chance to do it. So it's my honor and privilege to be able to do that with the community. Now, I want to remind people that we have two audiences that we're speaking of, the live audience that's gathered here from all over the world. So it looks like we're in the same space, but we're actually not. Imagine that we're not. And we have a second group which will watch this program on YouTube. There are thousands of these <laughs> programs sitting around. We've been doing it for a very long time. Some are written at jeffreylandarticles.com. Some are, as you see, in the program. But all of them have one thing in common. We tell it like it is for people who have floundered on the net. If you're somebody who's trying to make money and you have not work for you, listen up. The first thing we're going to do is, because this is being recorded at Christmas, you may be listening to it in August of 2016, but we're doing it just before Christmas. We know from your standing that the Internet will not stop during Christmas, because most of the world does not actually celebrate Christmas. And so worldprofit.com will be very busy on Christmas Day, as it always is. One, some of my monitors who wear those little rakish cap, little Santa caps that they love so much. And to send you another garb. Some of them will be, will be sure to tell me off the red nose reindeer. Boys. And uh, that's fine. And we encourage people to come to our Christmas party on uh, the evening of uh, December 24th. And during the course of the day, my parents and were, uh, my brothers and sister were brought up with what we call open houses. And every year on Christmas Day, we had an open house for all the friends and neighbors. And they were legion. My parents were very popular people, and they dragged people in from everywhere to the place of mother! And uh, that didn't have any impact whatsoever. I will be reading on Christmas Day from Christmas stories. I have written 85 Christmas stories over the last several years. And smart people have been using them to generate and encourage do the same thing. They are, they are in every kind of topic, they're the religious ones. The ones on the of the King, there are those about Virginia from the, from the New York newspaper in the United States. Yes, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus. We cover it all. So, however, what we're going to do today is we are going to try to get, penetrate the, the impenetrable obstinacy of about 117 people looking in the window who desperately need help. We are here to provide it. One of the things that the most frustrating thing of all is when we see people who come in here all the time, and every time you log in here, you are, the computer logs you in, and it keeps a tabulated number of how many people you have been here. Look at your numbers, we've well, been here 16 times, or we've been here 565 times. We're still not making any money. What is the point? One of the things about adult learners, and I've been in adult education for a long time, is that they don't learn well. They fight. Oh, this is the way this is supposed to be done. Well, maybe it was done that way 40 years ago, but maybe it wasn't the way to do it now. So I am going to start off this program by asking um, Daisy, Percy, and 104 people looking at the window, if you want to make money in the net, say so now. Just say, I want internet money. And we're going to, and we're going to help you first. In other words, I am not going to wait. This is my... 
credo for you may they're going to do something to help themselves. If you're not willing to do something to help yourself, then I don't want to help you. So Holly, that's a pretty tall order. We're going to have lots of topics. We're going to give the offer for our special offer. We're going to talk about the uh, Amazon store that every one of these people can have. And with any luck, we'll have some time for an article, too. Any further comments before we start? I think what we'll do is we'll read the article first. Okay. As Dr. Lamb said, that Amazon store is, is fantastic, how that can create residual income for people. Uh, so it's just an added value of what World Profit keeps on giving you more and doesn't charge you more. So with that being said, I'm going to... Read an article, Dr. Land. Let me post it on the screen for everybody to see so you can follow along. We need a little Christmas. Why I'm working hard right this minute to make Christmas 2011 the best Christmas ever. By Dr. Jeffrey Land, author's program mode. I was young then, blessed with that overflowing feeling of high animal spirits and joy to the world. It was 1967. I was in New York City for the first time, about to sail to Europe on the SS Brilia. The future seemed boundless, was boundless, and I had only good wishes and despair for everyone, everywhere. The only snare that was that I couldn't get tickets for Maine. Music and lyrics by Jerry Hearn. A hit musical based on one of my mother's favorite books, Auntie Maine by Patrick Dennis, 1955. Bummer. But not downhearted, I somehow managed to get a program discovered when Angela Lansbury, the star of A Toast of Broadway, was likely to leave the Winter Garden Theater. And just where I stand for the best chance of getting her autograph. I went, recall the moment, and she came out the door. She was smaller than she appeared on stage, and I remember how the collar of her coat brushed against my cheek, and her scent as she bent down to autograph the program. It looked in my hand. It was lush, seductive, delicious, and I was happy. I have that program still in good condition, too. A reminder when the song I've chosen for today's theme music, We Need a Little Christmas, was just a peppy, high-stepping, belted-out number. Not an absolute need for all of us. Start, however, by going to any search engine. Get the tune, then let it rip. It's going to get your blood going, your feet tapping, and maybe even bring a tear to your eye, your sentimental soft to you. For I've grown a little lean, grown a little colder, grown a little sad, grown a little older. These words pretty much sum up events since the magic moment at the door of the Winter Garden Theater. And I don't merely mean for you and me either. I mean for America and for our deeply troubled world. And that is why I'm already at work to ensure this Christmas and this year of gentle dismay and gloom is the best ever. We need it for the good of home, hearth, soul, and yes, the economy. I began this week. It is September 25th. 2011, as I write, and my dear and valued helper, Joseph and his soothing wife Mercedes have commenced Operation Christmas. We started with a Herculean task meant to occur twice each year, but often forgotten, polishing the silver. It is an arduous, it is wearying, it is dull, and it is necessary deed in creating the wow factor. That is such an essential part of Christmas for me and mine. The question is, why have we started so early? Just what are we doing for? Over the last few years, I've noticed the inception and development of an ambitious trend in me and many others. Scaling back, pruning, diminishing the high festival of Christmas. This is a very bad thing. And this year, I decided to take the constructive action before I bear an even closer approximation to Ebenezer Scrooge. This is called for tradition, and my better self answered the call. Unmarried, no known children, Katie Siegel made a fortune on The Married with Children 1987, in which she played the ultimate suburban Bulgarian wife, Peg. She thought the holidays was for maxing out her credit cards and causing pain to her hapless, bill-paying husband. It was funny, 
But of course, we weren't like Peg, no way. But we are, and not. I hasten to add because we enjoy the consumer aspect of the event. I have always thought that secondary folks who decry the blatant commercialism of Christmas and seek to revert to prior usages, pure and holy, misread the original text and allowed themselves to be hoodwinked by Puritans. Now, lest you think I am anti-Puritan, beware, I am of Puritan heritage myself, and it pains me to admit the Puritans got Christmas all wrong and missed its message. The culprit in the matter was Oliver Cromwell, a man who, saying enough, is enough, helped King Charles I to the eternity in 1649 through the simple expedient. As Charles told his horrified children by separating his majesty's head from his majesty's body, her protector, more powerful than most kings, then lead an effort to root out all vestiges of traditional high living English Christmas. And so, for tears, until his assessor's son Richard got kicked out in 1659, Cromwell and company worked to make everyone just as miserable and gloomy at Christmas as possible. That was right and proper thing to do. For instance, zealous Puritans, rigid, unbending, inflexible, muffed the matter of the three wise men, princes of the Orient. Each, if you recall, brought the Christ child very expensive gifts. These include gold, imagine if they had incense and myrrh. Unless these royalties just happen to have some extra gifts in their treasure trove, possible but unlikely. Each had to make a trip to the bazaar, which is what people call malls in those days, to scrutinize what was available and mull over their options. This is exactly what the non-kingly people do nowadays at Christmas, parking their cars, easier to handle than Maladar's camels, which spit, returning over and over to get just the right gift, gift that will say loudly and clearly, I care. So where is the problem? Christmas in short has had a pronounced commercial aspect from the first moment. People should get over it and get it on with the real business of event love. Whether you consider that from the vantage point of God to man, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. John chapter 13, verse 16. And from the vantage point of human relations, the fact is that Christmas is the prime event of every year based on all about and dedicated to love. And we humans, after this storm-tossed year, should embrace the event and enjoy it for what it is, a chance to love one another. Be kind to each other, embrace our diversity, and give the embedded rancors of deeply fissured planet a rest. Even if we know, as we do, they'll be back in the new year. Even a little sauce sauce. We need it, we must have it, and we deserve it. And because I have been, shall we say, neglectful, both about giving and taking love, a huge deficit to make up for. And so Christmas 2011 must be done right in every nuance and detail. And this takes time, care, and thoughtfulness. Cleaning the silver is just the beginning. And then, like the score says, candles in the windows, carols at the sun, gifts for all, not merely anything grabbed at the 11th hour of Christmas Eve either. For the gift must be special, as the beloved gets it. All this takes time, meticulous attention to detail, and most of all, love. And it is this love in a short supply in years past suppressed, which is the most important thing of all. This year will be different. Clear that love will flow without stint as a resolute declaration to everyone, everywhere, that this is a place where humanity is made welcome and where we know the true meaning of Christmas and meaning to have it. Share it and renew it. Knowing this, can you wonder why I'm starting so early here? The wonder is that you have not commenced early, for you need it is pressing too. And I'm playing We Need a Little Christmas. And I was a. Oh, we Next need article. a little Christmas. All right, this very minute. Not your moment. Turn the window and carols at the spirit, and we need a little need Christmas. A little Christmas. Come on, Larry, join us to sing. Hello. 
Oh yes, we are in the beginning mode. We are in the mode, and we want to remind uh, the 100 people that are looking at us from the rafters, I'm holding, and Howard and I are holding, 100 of the Amazon store 50,000 uh, presents, call them presents, uh, products for everyone right now. So Larry, well, you're sitting up there, and we have Fidelis. And Fidelis is, a, is a, the kind of problem that we see all the time. Fidelis is confused. It doesn't stop to talk to us. It comes in, wastes time, his own and ours. Nothing is accomplished. This is the worst possible way to approach this site. This site is dedicated to the proposition that the Internet is low if you take the time to know it. And we have a, we have a sort of a mice girl. His name is Kosh. Oh, and what he does, he is a firm believer in the steps that explicate an event. And I have always written, I've written several books on this principle. Everything in the world breaks down into steps. You want to know how to make a flapjack? Three steps. This, this, this. You want to know how to get to Europe or on, say, on a boat? Bad. Save money in a ship? Mm -hmm. yep. Everything in the world is broken down into steps. So if you're sitting there and you're saying, but I don't know what the steps are for the internet, but I'll figure them out all by myself. You won't. You can't. You don't know them. As an educator, and I'm Howard, I'm approaching 50 years now. Oh, God, I can hardly believe it. For 50 years, I have been an educator. And will be an educator to the day I... What is an educator? What does that mean? It means that I am dedicated to the proposition that everything is knowable if you know the right way of doing it. That sense, one of my favorite inventions is the Wikipedia. I love it. I think it's just one of the most clever ideas in the history of humankind. Everyone in this room needs to know the step-by-step -step steps that it will take you to make money. Now, we could, for example, help you, and we're now, what have we got? We're up to 104 people. 104 people are sitting there stubbornly failing to learn. And Howard, that makes absolutely no sense to me whatsoever. I totally agree, Dr. Land, about that, because why, if people want to be successful on the internet, you need to have the right support, you need to be trained every single week on what to keep up with all the changes that are happening, and George Kosh is our, is, he's, he's our Santa Claus, basically. He gives us all the gizmos to make money, doesn't charge us any more money, which I think is is, is 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 beautiful, but it's in business sense. I, I know what you're thinking, George. You're giving away the kitchen sink and everything else. But guess what? We appreciate everything that the collective corporate team at World Profit gives. Plus, we appreciate every single one of the monitors who volunteer their time. That's what makes us unique as a community. Correct. And we want to speak to Adrian B Bowen. Who has been here 28 times and not taking the proper step? And we have Billy, who's been here four times and not taking the proper step. Now, folks, what we're doing today, Adrian and Billy, we're trying to find out what you're doing, or rather, what you think you're doing. Do you think that you're handling the internet properly without making a dime and you don't know what to do? You're bypassing mentorship and you're bypassing instruction every single day? Now, Adrian and Billy, no one has ever asked you these questions before. I'm asking you now. I want an honest answer. I want, to, I want to, you to confront your own thinking. And I use that word extremely. Mostly. Adrian, what are you doing here now? What are you doing to build success in that business? Billy, the same thing. What are you doing here now? Because both of you have been here multiple times. You're not making any money. You're not following directions. And you're to my way of thinking, you're proving how limited your, your deductive powers are when you sit there and deduce that you're never going to make any money. Never, never, never. Howard, maybe if you try them, we'll get a little something out of Adrian and Billy. They're not Billy and Adrian, how bad do you want success? How bad? Oh, 
Right, see, here's, let me make, I'm going to up the ante. I'm going to up the ante. Adrian and Billy, in two minutes, they're going to kick you out of the space. You will be worse off than you were when you came in because you'll know that real people in front of the issue of what it takes to make money and will come up with a plan that works. You do not have a plan that works. And so your lack of communication is not only stupid, it is fatal. And I'm going to give them now 90 seconds. Adrian and Billy, we're all watching. The whole world is watching you now. This has all been recorded. We're very anxious to see what you're going to do. Your name's up there, Adrian Bowen and Billy. Oh, Stone. The arm's losing, no option. What are you trying to accomplish? Again, now we're down to about one minute. No, no uh, response so far. They're sitting there doing nothing. It, it has been here 28 times, really, stole four times. So sad. They expect to, to make money and they don't even give us common courtesy to respond. Uh, it's absolutely astonishing to me. Billy Stoll and Adrian, you're and energy vampires, as I've coined that phrase. <laughs> Indeed. Uh, they are down to 30 seconds now. Adrian and Billy have got 30 seconds to respond. And I want to go on record as remind you, I asked. I wanted to know what you think you're doing, what you think you'll accomplish, and how you think you're going to make it work. And I have in detail to show you why it will work. And Billy and Adrian disappeared. Maybe they got help. I'm not familiar with them. <laughs> let's, let's do this for the 100 people that are in the rafters. Why don't you read the offer? We're going to read it okay. for them. And I want to speak to Douglas Landry, who's just disappeared again. But let's give the offer. To the 100 people in the window, this is for you. This is the best offer on the internet. It comes in at a very timely moment, and it gives you that free Amazon store for your site with 50,000 products. Amazing. How okay. are you? We finished our silver membership presentation video. Great. Then you already know the awesome offer we got for you if you order in the next 10 minutes. You get a $1,500 bonus off in the video. Plus, you can e-blast any website or offer 90,000 subscribers every single month. You get over 500 landing pages and over 1,500 real traffic sources. Also, our monitors will start closing sales for you today without ever charging you anything. Finally, your commission earnings are from 20 to 100%. Or you can click on that blue hyperlink to order. This offer is made once and once only, but wait, there is still so much more. Attention, Internet marketers. This is absolutely spectacular. A money-making machine. Now you can have your very own 50,000 product Amazon store on your site worth $397. You will be one of the first, the very first anywhere in the most incredible feature. Moreover, we will train you in detail how to squeeze the most money from this store. This comes with our highest recommendation, and quite frankly, you would be crazy not to grab it. Click on the bright red box and order now. Your Amazon store is included. Bonuses also include 50 associate members placed on you immediately. Attention, still more. If you upgrade to our silver membership now, you also get over 500 landing pages, over 1,500 real traffic sources, sales closing 24 hours a day, over 100 training lessons, 50 members placed on you now. Email blast to 90,000 per month, over 100,000 ad credits per month, Three Facebook marketing courses on how to generate thousands of leads using Facebook marketing tactics. Remember, you can use these resources to generate leads and traffic for any business. Upgrade to our silver membership now and you'll be on your way to earning consistent income now. Your package includes traffic, leads, trusted advertising sources, a comprehensive online training program, plus sales closing assistance 24 hours a day. No other company offers you this. World Profits Ironclad backing is based on our 20 years in business. Upgrade to the Silver Membership now to receive the bonus offer with all privileges and exclusive freebies.
And we are now waiting. We have now 180 people looking at the window. If there's 180 people who could immediately be better off with the Amazon Food Store and the 50 dozen products, but are not doing the app either. So we are here to help that one person who truly wants to establish in their business. That's who we're for. You know how I'm at the end of my tether with these people who say, oh, they're going to do it. Oh, here we have one of the culprits back. Adrian, you didn't answer any of the queries that we placed to you. Now you're back. Why are you here, Adrian Bowen? Why are you here? We probably won't get an answer. <clears throat> we want to welcome Richard, Richard Robinson, who came in a few hours ago, as a new civil member. Yes, yes, yes. Richard's won mine, and I'm very happy for Richard. Well, hopefully, you'll be another good junior monitor. And Adrian, we're going to remove you in just about 30 seconds. Adrian, if you hear me, just say that you hear me. Dr. Lent can make it easy for you people. All you have to do is respond to him. Think of Dr. Lent as Santa, but a skinny version of Santa. <laughs> <laughs> and a richer version of Santa, because Santa doesn't have all these capital capital operas and all these historic items that he's accumulated over the years. I bet he has a lot of news Oh, yeah, no color. Uh, and he, and he has all the cookies in the world, too. That's true. He was up for, but I don't think people would buy the pre-even cookies. It reminds me of a story. I was in the convenience store a year or so ago. There was a young woman, professionally dressed. She was with a child who was about five inch. And while she was yapping along, the kid was opening up all the cookie packages, taking one bite and putting the things back in the package and <laughs> putting the package back in the shed. Oh, man. We were, all, we were all watching this, wondering when Mother was going to catch on the fact that the kid was in the back. So she turns and the, to look at the kid and the kid was coming all over. And she's horrified, of course, as she would be. And she takes the cookie, puts it in his hand and said, you have made a commitment to this cookie. <laughs> we all went. <laughs> because that is such a horrible phrase. We don't have cookies. We don't eat them. We are committed to cookies. Cookies, um, yes. We have, we have a very special kind of Cambridge speak. And I forget that this isn't the way real people talk. This is the way we talk. Uh, it's very... Um, Pretensions, I think, will sort of satisfy. I was telling you earlier, and there's John. John has been with us before today. John, again, we're, we're trying to find out what are you trying to accomplish, why don't you respond, and what, what benefits do you think you're going to derive from total lack of communication? John, we need an answer. If we don't get an answer, we're going to simply go I was in a situation. I used to teach at the University of New Orleans, the world of the world. And uh, a friend came to visit me for Christmas, and we went to uh, the Monterey Leon restaurant, in the Port Rich Bus, the best restaurant in the city. And my friend waited me to buy her a plate for Monterey Leon, as a mento, for Lord of the Well, I'm a sap for so I said, fine, take her back to the hotel. We're fine. And she steps on it in the middle of the night. I don't know how that happened, but I didn't want to think about it. And so we were leaving in a few hours. She said, oh, my plane is gone, and I will never get another one. Could you go down to that? I never said, excuse me, I'm leaving right now. So I go down to the, it's Christmas Day in the morning that goes in. On Christmas Day, on Christmas Day, on Christmas Day, in the morning. Well, anyway, I ride my way into the hotel. I had to go to the kitchen where the plates were stored. I had to explain to the, the concierge that I wasn't staying in the hotel. 
that. Somebody had said, believe me, you don't want to go there. But he, it was Christmas Day. He had that Christmas Day. He was going to do a good deed. Look, that was a good deed. I'm never going to end, ever buy, buy anyone a plate out of a hotel room. Yeah, that was it. So how we all do our strange things on Christmas Day. That was mine. Of course. We are here with 114 people. Everybody's going to do something weird on Christmas Day this year. I encourage people when you come up to our party on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, have a story ready about the particular Christmas. Or bring your family or bring your pets or your dog or you know, whatever. And share with us. This is people say to me, Are you are you gonna be on the internet on Christmas Day? Of course. I'll be on Christmas Day, the day I die I'll be on the Christmas I'll be on the internet. But yes, absolutely. And there are so many articles to be read and you wouldn't have and of course, with the stock market going crazy like it is, the crazier that it gets, the more money, the more crazy it will get. Because people's money has been building from the size of the way too long to purchase. I'll come in now. Probably over course. the end of the day. Now, we're sitting here with Hard Martell. We are waiting for Larry. Well, we were, we were waiting for Larry. Now Larry's in the order for him. He can't hear us. I often sit here and wonder. Larry can't make a decision. He's very contacted. Yes, it's a, it's, a, it's a shame that he doesn't seem to grasp it. It's not difficult to make one of It is a matter of making a commitment to that cookie. You've got to make a commitment to the cookie, and that's got to be every day. I was up in the middle of the. Why a commitment? When you make it, when you're married, you make a commitment. The business is the main thing. If you don't say I made a commitment to my wife, I would be saying I made a commitment to my cookie. You made a commitment to this cookie. <laughs> you have to live here to understand how very, we call it 02138. 02138, that's the zip code. Our zip code is famous. Anyway, like I'm very curious. Yes, not quite. I'm going to finish chapter eight this, this evening. And when I do, there's going to be a party where I was in probably for the minute I put the final pair of party on the So is family coming to see you this year? Oh, I hope not. I hope no one's coming to see me. I'm already getting the call to go, where are you going to spend the Christmas time there? And my, my correct response is under the, under the bed. For me, I do a, do a lot of Christmas things before writing the articles and you know, getting all the things organized. For example, it took five solid days this year to polish the silver. Five days of unremitting silver polish. Uh, then, you know, you know what a fanatic I Course. Getting any, get down on the hands and knees, with the crevate, crevasses, so that everything was checked, so that there were, you know, the, the crystal was polished. It looks terrific here. And it goes along with an article that I will read on a little town of Cambridge, Massachusetts, I was still in the scene of, uh, That was, this was the Christmas story that gave me pneumonia. I decided to go out and about the town, looking to see what was happening, and then what was happening was I ended up in the hospital with pneumonia. Exactly. I didn't tell you guys that story. Uh, I didn't. I don't always tell you uh, everything, particularly for the girls during the moment going to the hospital. My father said, "What could you even think of?" I, well, I was wearing six layers of clothes. It was not <laughs> really enough. And as we're talking about successfully having a home-based business, what people need to understand is that it can be hard work. Every single day you need to be focused on how many people can you bring in to our live business center if you're part of our community, and what are the results of that? 
How many sales did you have? What were the numbers? Dr. Lamp talks about this in multiple articles. Okay, hold on now. I'm going to turn. John says, do I get this to be eligible to receive? Okay, John, this is Dr. Lamp, the CEO and the co-founder. I'm here with Howard Martell, who's a member of our scholarship committee and senior monitor. Larry, you've been here three times and haven't joined us yet. Why is that? Why is that? I'm going to try this again. Would you like to make money? Okay. What are you making money in so that we can make your better? You have 25 websites. Well, that really is not the thing with that much. Websites per se are not the key to success. What is your what product are you and service? To sell? We'll try again. We are in a capacity, we have the ability to increase the number of qualified leads that you get by many, many, many dozens of these. We're getting more qualified leads be of interest to you. Okay. What we're going to ask you to do, did you watch the video in the last day? I record show that you watched you did. You like it to show you how to get among other things in fifty thousand product Amazon store on your site. In fact, on your twenty-five sites. Mm -hmm. Would you like that? You would. Howard Martell is going to read half the article. Information about it. I'm going to read the second half, and we're going to bring you in so we get you started. This offer is going to go for Larry also. You say you finished our silver membership presentation video. Great. Then you already know the awesome offer we got for you if you order in the next 10 minutes. You get the $1,500 bonus offer made in the video, plus you can e-blast any website offer to 90,000 subscribers every month. You can get $1,500 landing pages and over 1500 real traffic sources also our monitors like dr land and myself will start closing sales for you today without ever charging you anything finally your commission earns from 20 to 100 percent or you can click on that blue hyperlink to order at this time this offer is made once and once only but wait there's so much more attention internet marketers this is absolutely spectacular uh, a money-making machine. Now you, you can have your very own 50,000 product Amazon store on your site worth $397. That's right. You will be one of the first, the very first anywhere in the world with this incredible feature more over. We will train you in detail how to squeeze the most money from this store. This comes with our highest recommendation and quite frankly, You'd be crazy not to grab it. Click on the bright red box and order now. Your Amazon store is included. Bonuses also include 50 associate members placed under you immediately. Still more. If you offer your silver membership now, you also get over 500 landing pages, over 1,500 real traffic sources, sales closing 24 hours a day, over 100 training lessons, 50 placed under you now. Now blast to 90000 per month, over 100 than ad credits per month, free Facebook marketing courses on how to generate thousands of leads using some Facebook marketing tactics. Remember, you can use these resources to generate leads and traffic for any business. You heard me right, any business. Upgrade to the Silver Membership now and you'll be on your way to earning consistent income now. Your package includes traffic, leads, trusted advertising sources, and a comprehensive online training program, plus sales closing assistance 24 hours a day. No other company offers you this. World Profits Ironclad Backing is based on our 20 years plus in business. Upgrade to the Silver Membership now to receive the bonus offer with all privileges and exclusive freebies. Now, here's what needs to happen. 
No. Okay. okay, John, you need to pay close attention to what I'm saying. You're focusing on the tiniest crumb. When I'm offering you an entire bake, I am offering you unlimited, free, guaranteed, specific, targeted leads. Okay? Here's the deal. This is for Karen, Larry, John, and that other Larry. Should he be different? Karen, first of all, you need to click on the green box and watch the video. Karen, if you don't watch the video, we do remove it. John, excuse me, do you, are you familiar with the old Texan word pest? I am trying to make a presentation for you and for 98 people who are looking in the window right now, and you're not paying attention. I told you, you are going to get unlimited, free, guaranteed, specific, targeted, unique profit, or not. And you're interrupting me at a time when I'm trying to talk to many more people than you. Okay, Howard, we're moving. Now, for those of you who are looking in the window, <laughs> what a moron! I'm sorry. Just it's we apologize for idiots help like me, that help because me. the fact that person doesn't listen to what we're doing. It it doesn't make sense to me. That, that person has a, has a very hard life, I'm sure, and it's not a certain role. Now, the Larry, energy you, well, ever since you gave us the world, that phrase, I, you know, first of all, I never, if I were writing articles now, you wouldn't, that wouldn't be your phrase anymore, it would be mine. Of course. But since I'm I'm sure you're going to write an article about it soon, very soon. Yes, yeah, so as soon as the next four chapters are um, done. Um, Karen, you're not paying attention. You know, it's like, I, yes, I know you're in the middle of a presentation, but help me now, help me now. It's like a three year old kid. <laughs> I have to tell the story. I was sitting in an airport once. And this, this is how, how my story from Mexico grew And I was watching a kid who was about maybe four, and his mother interchanged. He kept pestering her. He wanted, he wanted a buck, he wanted a dollar. And so he, he made himself a, a general pass, including going down on the pavement in the, in the airport and thumping his, thumping his little paws and legs on the cement. And nothing worked. The mother was just oblivious to it. She'd heard it all before, been there, done that. So finally, she turns, she gets up off her chair and she turns. <laughs> her derriere was right even with the little monster's teeth, and he sank a, he sank his teeth right in her derriere, and she screamed. And the whole, whole airport said, Give him the dollar! Lady, give him a buck! Here is a dollar for you! So the punchline was if the ask doesn't work, if the thumping of the heels on the pavement doesn't work, if anything else you try doesn't work, try the bite. Try the bite and the bump. It works every time. And of course, this is a great the crowd pleaser, icebreaker. But it's true. You have to be willing to go beyond your comfort zone and the comfort zone of the person that you're working with. Otherwise, there's, there's very likely to be no connection whatsoever. Karen, we're going to have to remove Karen, and we're going to remove Larry, too. You know, folks, all you have to do is say hello. It's really not two honors. And by the way, if anyone cares, this is not work. If anyone thinks this is work, you should go to a coal mine somewhere. It's fun. It's part of the special forces or whatever. This is a game. I really like this. It's a huge international game. For it. So, let's bring up these for a couple minutes. And then we'll bring you back for some more words of wisdom. Patrice Porter, come hither. Good day, I want to tell you something and see what you make of it. In my marketing books, I talk about the rule of seven that a prospect has to be hit a minimum of seven times okay. before they get the fact that you're even there. So that's why when they keep coming in here, I'm the least frenzied about that than anybody. Yeah. 
because I know it's going to take seven times. It's the 700 times that I don't get. Yeah, yeah. they way past the, the seven mark with them. And it, they aren't, aren't really serious about wanting to build an online business because they're definitely going about it the wrong way. And uh, with that, uh, if anybody wants to catch the replay of this uh, program, it'll be up on our World Profit Tube at www.worldprofittube.com and up on the YouTube channel Patrice Porter and there's some earlier programs on the YouTube channel Pat Porter and if you want to check out my Home Business Central that's at www.20waystoprofit.com and I've also used the tools and resources from World Profit here to help people create abundance by gardening and you can see that at www.gardeningforfoodsecurity.com and with that, I'll say my adieus. I'll be up in this next hour here, and then on the next Anything Goes. Bye for now. Thank, thank you. It's a White Rabbit, Patrice Porter from Big River, Saskatchewan. Pretty close to the North Pole as these things go. Very desirable address this week. Howard Martell is back. What would you like to say? We have just a few minutes that we can uh, talk about whatever. Oh, first, as we, we're getting closer to closing out another year, uh, the year's been such an uh, incredible ride for me as, as I surpass coming on to five years now with the company, and I'm just, I'm just growing, and I'm seeing my hard work and my dedication to not only community, but you know the mentorship that I received from George, Sandy, and Dr. Lamp has been priced. I'm, I never thought that it'd be this successful in such a short time, but it's because of the because of those individuals that has allowed me to grow. And what I tell people when they say, "Oh, you you work online, but how do you do that with a forty-hour job?" I'm like, with a lot of dedication and with a lot of help. And I thank each and every one of our my fellow senior monitors, our upcoming junior monitors, for the time that you put in that allows me to spend time with my family, but, but also allows me to have a profitable business. Thank you, from the bottom of my heart. From the bottom of my heart, I accept. Uh, for those of you that have been worried about me, and I've gotten some interesting emails, I want to tell you about my visit to the hospital. I have a double compression fracture, as it turns out, in my, my back, which was exacerbated, which I've had for apparently quite a long time, and was pinching some nerves. Which is making ultimately making walking absolutely excruciating. So I went to the hospital to take it out. It was under for 40 minutes, which is always a quite an experience. So every every MRI survivor knows the exact number of minutes they were under, and it's always bragging. I was under for 40 minutes. I was under for 63 minutes. I was under for 40 minutes, and it was enough. My neurologist called me last night. Um, they're probably going to have to do some kind of a spinal injection. I don't think it's going to be surgery, which is what. And I just want everyone to realize that actually I feel better today. I think just t talking about it and getting it out in the open made me feel better. Of course, one worries when one goes to the hospital and doesn't know what it is. So I'm not going to have to uh, be put away for a while. And I want to thank everybody for writing to me and for your concern. It greatly matters to me. And I'm looking forward to, uh, I'm saying this in the proper way, I'm looking forward to going back to the hospital. As soon as possible, we're hoping it will be before the month, before the year. And if so, I'll you know, do whatever I'm going to do. I urge them to give me the spinal injection because that sounded like the most powerful way. But uh, in case you think I lead a wild life, I wouldn't be true. I fell on my own bedroom floor. <laughs> and no, not while anything was going on. It was just me, myself, and I. And, uh, but, and then, of course, uh, I called Mr. and Mrs. Joseph to take very good care of me, and um, I had to mop up the blood before they got there. This, this is the point of the story, that there I am, possibly concussed, mopping up the blood so that no one would think me a bad housekeeper. That is a white sex and Protestant story that I will write up. Um, but it all is working out better. But I do feel better today, actually. I've been very lousy for a long time. As, uh, as the body just gets decrepit and things pressing. 
Yeah, you've got a compression fracture in L1. Who the hell knows what L1 is? So there. So thank you very much for all. And thank you for your Christmas presents. I really appreciate them. They came at the right time of the year. And I have opened them all and, and I'm enjoying the contents of this, including Howard knew that um, the, the, the devilishly attractive the caramel corn. He's probably we're we're awesome. enjoying your your gift yeah. too, because this is what's left of it. In two days, I've already ate everything. It was so good. Yes, it is good. Christmas is the time for that. So anyway, that's my little update, health update. I can't. Uh, I, ne I never thought that uh, years ago that I would share things like that with the public, but I feel comfortable. And getting older is a fact of mind. My doctor said, after all, you know, you're all seventy, so. Get Get used to it, and, it's, and now we'll also to say ninety. Everybody ages at a different rate, and different health problems emerge, and nobody's on the same. I think just that they got to live another for another day. And we're successful for another day, and we have the opportunity to serve another day. And it pains me when we have so many people who come in here who desperately need the help. We just blow it off. I, I understand. So, on that happy note. Patrice Porter is coming. Do you anything for you to say, or are you just a munch today? Mm, this is so good. And it's good to be frugal, too. That's another thing. People, okay, you need to do your promotion. Because I'm on Linda's tail. You're here, Linda. I'm on your tail. I'm not. I got took the advice Dr. Lent told me last time when I was so close. I'm close. I know I am. And I'm going to keep on pushing till Christmas <laughs> if I don't choke. Well, I wanted to just say one thing about your promotions. Cut the, the number of words. Cut the verbiage. What they mm -hmm. what it needs to be short and sweet, capable of being uh, read. And Linda won't mind if I use as an example. Linda, Linda, I, I suggested a certain promotion for her. You go, oh, she wrote it up as if it was a term paper. Don't make it painful for the readers. Make it short and sweet, right to the point. Um, say... This is Linda Elson talking, or this is Howard Martell talking. I've got the deal for you. It's a free Amazon store, 50,000. Call me now, email me now. And it's mm -hmm. like, now, 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 now. Yep. Make it yep. so simple. The simpler it is, the better. Let me, George Tosh pointed this out to me about 20 years ago. When Google came forward, you do realize that the Google masthead is the most valuable real estate in the world. What do they do? They do little doodles. And they do little snowmen, turkeys, and so on. You go, this is the richest internet company, most important. It's because of that that they have to be very careful what they put. They need it to be simple, mm -hmm. often <laughs> inanely simple. I don't quite understand what they're thinking. I, I, if it were my real estate, I'd have at least one ad or one something, but maybe they don't want to give a new person to them. Anyway. This has been Dr. Jeffrey Lentz speaking to you from the capital city of the internet. For those of you who have never been to Cambridge, make it a point to come and visit us. It is like being in Rome in the first century. It's like being in the in the 17th century. It's like being in Versailles in the rest of the time of the revolution. This is where it's all happening, and you see it, and you smell it, and you see the results. Cambridge looks terrific. Now, our tax revenue, our taxes have been slashed. Can you believe this? I, it's like I can't quite believe it. Our taxes are down. I also get the senior citizens discount on top of that. This is a place where you come. We, again, I renew my invitations to do every year. When new monitors are looking to be anywhere around New England or New York, come up. Take it to lunch to Commander. You'll learn a great many things. You'll see me as I really am in my real life. Um, so make sure you don't need all of his <laughs> You do no, uh, allow me to. Next time any visitor like you comes, Mr. Joseph is delegated to stand over the food and get guarded. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll laugh. We'll laugh at that for a long time, come. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I'm going to... Uh, if we have nothing further to say, then we'll go back to the business of taking care of the 104 people looking in the window. This will be an admirable opportunity for you to get a down speak to the monitor, a duty who will be hard for the next few minutes, and then Patrice Porter after that. And we'll, of course, all day, every day, we'll have our people on. And I want to say again, 
we've had our little gaps during the Christmas season, and it's almost inevitable, but they haven't been too bad. They've been not too strenuous. And as you can see now, the sales are coming in fine. Well, we've integrated the uh, Amazon store into our presentation. It works perfectly well, and it is a great deal. Anybody have any questions before we terminate for this day? Well, again, we want to welcome Richard uh, Robinson, our newest, uh, one of our newest uh, senior monitors, and um, super bank members. And we have Beverly hey, Hamill. Beverly Hamill, are you there? Uh, I mean, Beverly, are you there? Maybe we can close this off in the sale with you, please. Beverly, are you there? Please say hello. Only Beverly. And Raymond McLean, you've been here before. But I'm going to do, please, I'm going to go down now because we're, so these people are new. Thank you hard for your help. Thank you, everybody. And Pleasure. tonight is going to be a night. And if I finish Shepherd tonight, there will be some people on the old town. It's so close to being Jeopardy. She's just blending.